have the Phoenix as a very strong lane support to keep that Murana out of your hair. Yeah. Nice, we're going to be getting level 6 on Tron, it looks like, pretty soon, as well as Malrine. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, though, they Fast do rotation. find themselves a kill there onto S4, and Pablo may be found as well, thanks to this rotation from Hellscream. And they will deal with the Darkseer alone, where he's having a, a pretty nice time of it at the moment. Yeah. Everybody yeah, going through? Yeah, they're Except chasing for Roger. <laughs> Violet gets himself a kill and goes back through the gate. And is actually going to meet Roger here, perhaps? S4 with the plasma field. Is there or not? Charlie in some trouble here as well within the tree line, but a rotation from Tron. Tempted to try and find Hellscream here. Tron actually taking quite a bit of damage here. May actually fall. Will be able to use the remnant, but the dagger claims the life. Killing spree for Violet. It will be a two for one, but I'm more than happy with that unless he does come to meet his end with a storm hammer, but it's too fast for Charlie to handle. He'll move himself back and got to farm up the wave. But then he's met with a swashbuckle and a shield crash. The rolling thunder will come out. Can Violent get himself another kill here, especially on their carry? They oh, yeah. He'll be able to pick it up indeed. Malrine, he gets the kill potential. Mm hmm. Yeah, and all of these jumps that they have, all of this mobility, plus the Ion Shell is really going to enable them to pick and choose whoever they want to target. And now Roger. Yeah, speaking of targets, they will attempt to go for S4, Ooh. and they find the kill there indeed, taking down this... He is... Very oh, doubtful about showing his face at all. Oh, they're going to be met more again. With the slow there from the Icarus Dive, able to break the static link, and maybe perhaps the Dagger will attempt to get the kill with the jaw. Violent with the blink strike gets the kill, dominating spree for him, and Roger will still survive by the skin of his teeth. 100. This is what they've been waiting for. <laughs> you, you always love it to play an aggressive carry here. If, if it's just the farm fest, you get pretty bored. And speaking of farm fest, there won't be one here because S4 is going to be met by the brunt of Nimiga, who are attempting to try and kill him underneath this 2 1 again. Trying to protect himself there with the static link, but looks like he will be found indeed by Violent. But in return, Pablo will obtain. Right with the fact that it's it's not just Hanskin that's getting killed here quite easily. That's four as well. Yeah. A razor oh, versus though, physical. Okay, well that's an honor. Yeah, see the Syrian chains and the Sacred Arrow combination it indeed sets up for the kill there onto Roger, and they get it. Now the question is, will they be able to keep on applying this pressure now that they're starting to move around the lanes and rotate around? They do have the Moonlight Shadow soon, and they have the Mimiga similar in that they case. With that. That the... Yeah, they can, with the fact that they have themselves, what, they have themselves Surge, Rolling, um, rolling Boulder, Rolling Thunder, not to be confused with two of those spells on the same team, Jesus. Meanwhile though, big Chaotic Golem comes down here from Hanskin. They find the kill there onto Roger, turn it around, and Malreen is going to be found by Chuan, coming in with the remnant there. We'll punish it, turn it around, but the counter mission the rest of his team able to farm up, but not doing as well as Charlie, with, of course, that level four cleave, able to farm up much better than the PA at the moment. Doesn't have that battle theory yet, but maybe perhaps we'll see that change. Meanwhile, S4, TP cancelled in the trees. Another kill there for Nimiga. S4 being punished even. So okay, yeah. You are going to be providing the attack speed slow, bunch of armor as well, because you're going to die to physical damage in this game. Chains and the Sacred Arrow, the Golem comes down. Just stay able to get the Supernova off there in time before the Golem claims the Phoenix's life. And Juan is actually going to be met by a Rolling Boulder there, and the Magnetize actually turning around. Nimiga get themselves a kill. And Roger will just survive by the skin of his teeth. I don't know if you saw that. That was literally like 10 HP. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, though, a Sacred Arrow, it does connect there onto the Pangolier. Charlie comes in rotating with that God Strand, finds the kill there into Malreen, now attempting to find Roger. Screams at them. Does he have a battle cry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the name of, of the third ability. I'm glad you remember oh, that. Oh, right, one. yeah. Oh, my God. That completely went past me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Sacred Arrow, meanwhile. On the other hand, this looks like it will be a kill onto Hellscream, and it will do indeed an Assyrian Chain connecting in Vazia, but he has the Surge, level 4. 
Still have that duration, able to get underneath this tier 1 tower. They're still going to try and attempt to go for the kill here. The Sacred Arrow, it connects. Stormstorm finds the kill indeed. Malry, on the other hand, he is having his attack damage drained. And S4, it looks like he can find the kill with the Plasma Field. He just about but will trade is live. Violent gets himself a double kill, possibly a triple kill. Oh. There it is. Hans can actually send kids just melts. Actually very hard for him to be forced into a death. Of course, that doesn't mean that's not a good idea to buy the BKB still. Everybody makes mistakes. But Violent is saying, nah, man, not me. I'm built different. Well, speaking of Violent, gets himself another clean kill there. On to Hanskin once again, trying to get that Observer. On the cliff there. Not only do they get the D ward, they get a kill as well on Nimiga. We go a BKB in this game. Extracting a linkage next. There's no breaks on this train, especially not if S4 dies here. He has a BKB though. Yeah, the BKB committed there. We'll try and attempt to run away. Violent ready with a dagger. Trying to get into the fog of war. Will be able to avoid violence with vision there with the dagger, but is surging forward there and that they may find a kill indeed onto Hanskin. Just able to survive though with Charlie coming in. Meanwhile, still oh, this trying is a to problem. play in the damage. The supernova comes out. Look at that. Hanskin's gone. And Charlie has to attempt to run away. Being stunned up there by the rolling thunder. Tron is gone. Possibly with S4 as well. S4 is dead. Pablo is going to be found by the hands of Violent. They've lost four here on an alliance. That fight just went sick off. Well, meanwhile, there's already a fight going on. Violent's able to blink to the it's low ground with thanks to Maori there. Oh, but a lovely sacred arrow from Pablo. But is it enough to take down this PA still healing up from the sun ray? Blinks away as well. He's going to survive. That's that illegal. Is able to he has an agent. Well. He's going to go. The surge? Holy crap. Charlie's dead. But Violent will be found though. Hellstream gone. Pablo will fall to the hands of Malrine. But in comes Violent now with that Aegis. Violent by name, Violent by nature. Finds himself three, possibly four as well as Tron. Has himself no mana to escape. Triple kill for the Phantom Baby. And now Lincoln Sphere is up on Violent. I, I don't think they're getting him again. Uh oh, Charlie has been found, kicked back. The Sun Ray comes out. BKB is there though from Charlie defensively. Supernova will come out in return. Hanskin is absolutely trapped. Dead for right. As they're leaving it for Violet. Yeah, they went to more they... kills. <laughs> yeah, like, more kills, I guess. He's not getting out anyone did out, especially in that last fight, but a couple of times now, it's just been very hard for Alliance to actually kill somebody after pumping so much damage into them and they found you on. Oh my gosh. He does have the remnant though. Wasn't silenced there by the geothermal grip. They have found Hanskin again. He will fall. The didn't notice. It's, it's all good, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll point it out now and embarrass myself. But I, I, with the, speaking of Phoenix actually here, I, I think what a, oh god, never mind violence. <laughs> Cutting me off with another kill onto Hanskin once again, jumping upon Tron. I wonder if he's going for a basher here. Looks like. Pablo's one of them. A homing beam. Yep. Yeah. Okay, just you, you look at the violence and, whoops. Arrow's magnetic. That one wasn't. That one definitely wasn't. That, that would have been so nice if it was. <laughs> but yeah, they use the Moonlight Shadow with that Nimiga will respect that. They'll back themselves off and wait for that to expire. There is a possibility that they could go Roshan though, because it is about to spawn up. It could be an early or a late one. It is an early one. Back in 40. Meanwhile, there were lovely rolling boulder in the bash there. Look at that. That's enough to take down Tuan. There's a it vacuum. Is. And we're going Onto deeper. Two as well. Violent once more. We'll try and attempt to go to Hanskin. Look oh, at the cleave no. there onto Pablo. My god. The bash is there onto Hanskin. We'll bling back Violent Will. Trying to find S4. But look at that with the BKB and the static link. That's dealing quite a lot of damage there to Malmry. But the super over along with that sun ray comes out. That's a lot of damage. And look at that. Alliance have nothing else to do other than get back. They've lost themselves. S4. Hanskin. That's a dive. Pull themselves back and get themselves the Roshan though. Ooh, Charlie's hanging around here. Invisible right now. It's granted vision. Although they found themselves, Charlie. Uh-oh. The missile blade's there and look at the damage from Violent. It's way too much. 
Jolly is gone. Rolling Boulder as well kicked back the Marauder. Silent Storm, the crit is there. The Coupe de Gras. They're not going for the end. They're actually going to respect this. The Moonlight Shadow covering their advance for Alliance. But S4 is the only one that he takes the lead here. He's on his own. But because of that, look at that. He's going to get deleted here by the Stunray. Has been found. Violence is perfectly healthy. The Supernova comes out there. The Sven is down for 70 seconds. The buyback from S4. Wants to try. Come try. Come back to the fight. But the Bash is there. On to Tuan. It's found. The Ember Spirit dead. GG is cool. They find themselves Pablo. And look at that. Queen Mega Gaming. They get themselves a clean 30 minute victory here with a 30. been a minute before the game even starts 40 second remain before the horn begins and it looks like alliance are also chasing the rest of me Mega as s4 will take the lead he gets a hoof stop there onto two but in return there is the boro strike and s4 is cleaned up but look at the bramble maze and the thunder strike damage they find a return kill onto Vazia and maybe malrine as well malrine he's gone charlie gets the kill two for yes <laughs> I do like this lineup that Alliance have though mm -hmm. on this top lane. Centaur and Dark Willow. We remember this back in the day. It used to be nasty. Meanwhile, speaking of nasty though, can Violet survive and get the damage off? Yes, he can. Onto S4. Trying to heal up now with that healing ward, keeping it underneath him. But oh, that was so close. Violet still lives through it. And the tower helping out. They find the kill. Meanwhile, on the bot lane here, it's going to be very scary for an Amiga to actually go in for these kills because they're double melee versus a lane that is, well, I don't want to say double ranged, but double range is a significant amount of the time. And oh, there, yeah, the, there it yeah, comes. There Level it is. Three. Yeah, the Blade Fury along with the Fortune's End and Purifying Flames helping to get the kill there onto S4. Level two Purifying Flames is so Marine's Water Room, not the best. Oh, wait, we could get a kill here. There's the glimpse. There it is. Hanskin. Bring him back Hellscream, and look at that. They find the kill there onto the Earth Spirit. In return, the Boros Strike is there, but Charlie... Oh, with the rotation from Oracle, this might be a kill. Where's the Purifying Flames? There it is. Yep. Roger gets himself a killing spree. Very sharp. Great in the previous game as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, violent. <laughs> Just highlight yes. violent. Meanwhile, though... Possible another kill. Violent coming in. Speaking of him, with that blade, Fury able to obtain another kill. Pablo falls. Yeah, the flexibility of these supports, like the help out Maureen here on mm -hmm. Pangolin, which is very necessary. Like the fact that we're seeing the praises of the supports here doesn't actually mean that the Mega is at all. In fact, the supports are currently keeping them in the game because they're losing both the mid and the bot lane quite hard by now. Well, Violent. Ooh, coming in with the Blade Fury. S4 just a little bit too late there with the Hoof Pump, but look at that. Killing spree for Violent. That Venus Crown is going to come off, trying to save that healing ward there, but a Sonic Wave coming out. That will deal significant damage there. Still alive. Still living through it with thanks to the heals of the Purifying Flames. And Violent is back to full HP. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, uh, Maureen also shows up just to be sure, but there's a blink left on Chuan. Did. Yeah, Hanskin. Snatch that one. Very nice. Oh, sneaky, sneaky man. Stealing that wisdom rune, but he's going to pay the price because Hellscream cuts him off. You shall not pass and kicks him back. Let's scream and be clearing camps and waves like it's nothing. And that really will help him stay on top of the game now that the laning stage is, is basically over. I don't think we'll see Maureen return to the mid lane for anything but a quick clear. In fact, he's bought. Yeah, Charlie is going to be initiated on here with a lot of stuns coming his way. Even Roger came in for the rotation. You cannot handle four heroes. Go for that Battle Fury as well, so we'll be able to keep up with the Terror Blade. Charlie farming around with his illusions, but could it be a second death here for the Terror Blade? Vazia was attempting to use that Epicenter there, but was cancelled by the Glimpse. Will try and attempt now to run away, but he's got the rest of Alliance hot on his trail. Lower Tron as well. They will commit the Stampede in order to get vision of him and secure that kill. The greatest time on this off lane, but nonetheless, at least they find him. They find him and they keep the bottom tower, which means that it's a stay of his comeback. S4, everybody from every side. Yeah, S4 is 
not going to live through this. They will commit the Omni Slash. No Stampede to use as they already committed it, so on the lane. Wants to try and deny the tower, but I, I think he may be met with uh, some more resistance here as Irene coming forward there with the shield crash. Rotation here from Violence as well. There's the Swashbuckle rolling thunder. It will indeed be committed. The Blade Fury there as well. S4 is dead to rights. Once again, Violent on a mega kill. Yes, an alliance have been made before he starts doing anything for his team. Look at how far forward Violent is as well. He's just <laughs> lurking in the shadows, hoping he's going to get a freebie somewhere. I mean, I definitely think he can take over this triangle. Oh, oh he's the freebie. See that. Look at that. They use the Static Storm. Nowhere to run with that Blade Fury because you are silenced. And they will claim the kill with the Sonic Wave. So quite nice pick off there from Alliance. Utilizing all the ultimates that they can. They may have found a kill there onto Hellscream as well. They will do indeed. Tron rotating into that middle tower. will to go through the lane. <laughs> <laughs> what is the plan here for Charlie? Will be met with a swashbuckle. Will commit the metamorphosis. The rolling thunder comes out. Hanskin in some trouble with no mana. Charlie will hold his ground though with the Sunder ready. Has to be careful of those purifying flames here from Roger. Could claim the kill, but a Sunder, a lovely Sunder there from Charlie, but we do indeed have the ultimate from Oracle. Will that keep Maureen alive? He does commit the swashbuckle, finds the kill onto Hanskin, but that borrowed time. Through that fight, Violent got some information here. Tron looks dead to me. Oh, I think that's a dead queen of pain indeed, Kips. Yep. No way from running away from that. The silence and the stuns are indeed there. He's really still afraid of all the nuke damage of Roger and the fact that they're going to uh, to find him and he wants a, uh, a tool to keep his distance. Ooh, a smoke. As for the first person they find is the Dark Willow. That is a definitely dead Pablo. Will be found by the Purifying Flames. Nice Almost a Manta style completed here for Violent. And is almost 3k gold ahead of this Terror Blade. Alliance coming in for an attempt on Vazia's life, but the glimpse will bring back the Sand King even with that TP. You are gone, sir. To be the case, though, Alliance have committed themselves to smoke. Coming from the flank. Yeah, and heading towards Violent, they get the lovely Hoopstar pop with the Static Storm. But the false promise is indeed there. Will it keep Violent alive? I think so. Because the heals are full there. Health. He is back to full health. The Rolling Thunder will come out as well. They'll attempt to try and take down Hanskin. They will find it indeed. S4 will attempt to run away, but they're focusing their attention right now onto the Queen of Pain. Chuan is going to be taken out. As now, Hellscream will attempt to try and find S4 within the trees, but he is out with that Blink Dagger. They will turn around that fight with... I dead. Is he going to jump blind? No, yeah. the hell scream is. Well, oh, Pablo has been found, though. In the trees, the Boris Strike is there. The stun from the Rolling Thunder. Or the Rolling Boulder. Rolling Thunder coming in now as well. Can they cancel the TP there from S4? Yes, they can. So now they'll attempt to take out the Centaur War Runner. Mal Ryan gets the kill. Hans get in trouble. Being met by further stuns from the Amiga there finding another two ages in the hands and he is around about 1300 well, 1200 gold away getting himself this meanwhile though Juan attempting to try and find the oracle but taking way too much damage here from the amiga not going to be able to blink out the stun lockdowns are indeed there the chain stun from the amiga able to save roger and take out the queen of pain yeah and we barely touched upon it but this is a queen of pain flames time and time again Meanwhile, they could find a kill onto Vazia here, the Static Storm, along with the Orchid. Is it enough damage? It is indeed. Finally. <laughs> it's the first time that Orchid has worked out for them. That's a good little bit of gold and a good reason for an Amiga to hold off on the pressure while I say that. Van Roger as well. Wicked sick ended. 684 gold going to Tron. Definitely happy with that trade. Hanskin's more than happy to fall for that. Taking down the Wicked Sick. More gold for the Queen of Pain. Moving rotations around. And with that, the Aegis is going to expire. So there is a little bit of glimmer of hope here for Alliance. Fine's like, no, no, I, I, 
I wasn't, thanks. So they're, they're still top, they're hitting that tower, and that means that the farm choke is currently not in effect. They found oh. themselves a pick off though. Yeah, Hanskin. That's not the greatest place to be. Did try and attempt to get some observer wards and stun there from S4, but Violent just pulled back safely there by the geomagnetic grip, <laughs> not the geothermal grip. Just in case. We do take the tier three. Meanwhile, though, silence there on Samarim, but it will be cancelled out and purged by Roger. They find S4 as well. With insane damage coming out here from Violent, but a lovely fear. But a false promise coming out in return. The Swift Slash is there. Ron is still going to be able to survive, but they'll turn their attention now onto Hellscream with the Metamorphosis. And oh my god, he still survives. Never mind, the glimpse is there. And Hellscream is going to fall. In return, it's four bottom. there onto two. Vazia has to use that Boris threat to get himself away from the damage. Charlie, he's dishing out quite a lot. I mean, he doesn't have himself this MKB. Swiss nonetheless, Smash. still laying in the damage. The Sonic Wave comes out there. Violent getting very close to death and actually going to fall here. Down for 70. Malreen doesn't have himself any more mana. Does Charlie still want to go on the aggressive here? Roger's sitting in the trees. Is he going to be found though? Doesn't look like. Oh, <laughs> wow. The disrespect, just the pure. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me, Marco. Oh, waiting. Violent. Uh oh. Oh, he does commit the Blade Fury, though. He knows something's going around here, but the damage there from the Metamorphosis it could be potentially enough nice to take dodge. that file. But now the Omni Slash coming out there is going to connect onto Tuan. He will be able to avoid the rest of the damage by blinking away. This rolling thunder, it's dealing quite a is lot there. Charlie, Charlie is he going to be able to sunder? No, he is not. Charlie is wow. gone. Three lost on Alliance. At Don't least... He will commit the Glyph. The healing ward is there. Illusion running it down. Charlie's trying to scout out into the back lines here. Oh, that's a lovely Swift Slash there. My god, Juan! You have to be careful, even with that double damage. My god! A stomp comes out there from S4. It does not connect because of that Blade Fury. And with that, the Amiga will get themselves back. Hacking with this. Never mind, they're going to go for the counter initiation. So the Omni Slash comes out on one, comes out on two. S4 and Hanskin, they're deleted. Look at that. Yeah, this is... This is not the way it was going to go if Alliance was going to have any chance whatsoever to die without buyback, and those are the two main creators of the engagement, right? Yeah. Here, Alliance, you don't want to lose that mid. And oh my god, look at the Swift Slash along combined <laughs> with that Boros Strike. Where's the Sunder for Charlie? He wants to try and commit it off. Will he get it? Yes, he will. Now he'll turn his attention around onto the Juggernaut. That is Violent God. Hellscream will soon to follow. He will fall. Now trying to lay in more damage there, but the Boros Strike coming out in return. The Sonic Wave is there, but look at that. The False Promise from Roger in the back line. Trying to keep Violent alive. Will he be able to survive on through it? That is the question. Yes, he will. He will survive, but Vajja will not. A glimpse attempt there onto Violent, but because of that Blade Fury, will not be brought back, but now the Sonic no oh, the Static Storm catching in place. The Juggernaut triple kill for Charlie. They will hold their base. But in return, they did. But look at this. They're taking out the melee rack so fast here. What can you do? They're not going to commit the glyph because they don't have one to commit. Oh, no S4 coming forward. Kind of too early there with that hoop stop. But look at the damage there. Pablo and Hanska completely deleted. Now the Swiss Slash coming out there to Charlie. Charlie's no, going to get off the Sunder. Down for 70 seconds with no buyback. Ultra kill for Violent. What a disaster for Alliance there. The damage was too much Violent. With the quick switch slash, the Omni slash is there as well. They may have caught themselves drawn, never mind. We'll blink into the fountain. They will bring back violence. But where is the follow up damage? Their Terror Blade is gone. Almost as he was before, um, because you can, in fact, buy yourself the Demon Zeal. Unfortunately, though, we were talking before about the lack of shards. That's rolling. Boulder coming in. We will find the kill there onto Tron. Down for 100 seconds with no fiber. Though the Terror Blade back alive. Charlie trying to lay in the damage there onto Vajja. He will activate the BKB. He will try and attempt to get away. Nice kick there from Hellscream. But the Mega Creeps are indeed there. Meanwhile, a blink from Malreen there with the Rolling Thunder. Trying to disrupt the rest of Alliance, but Hanskin is ready with that glimpse. Can he get it off there on Malreen? Never mind, he's going to come down with the Static Storm. Violent somehow able to get out that Static Storm there. 
will commit the Swish Slash. Does not have himself an Omni Slash though. So Trying to escape. Meanwhile, Nimiga, they handle the back lines here. They find themselves Pablo. Oh. They take themselves out. Charlie, it's an absolute team fight here. GG is called. Nimiga will push Alliance down to the lower bracket here, ladies and gentlemen. Nimiga Gaming will be your victors here. And will progress on into the upper bracket, winning this best of three, two, zero.